What's good, guys? It's Nick's Lotus. Da, da. Was, was that the right one? It was? Yeah. Okay. With five obscure, powerful lands to run in Commander. Up first, we've got Blink Mothwell coming in at 24 cents. Blink Mothwell is a land that taps for a colorless and has the ability to pay two and tap it to tap target non-creature artifact. This thing's just annoying. Tap that Soul Ring on their upkeep. Tap that Nev Disc and make them use it. Tap that Isochron Scepter so my cousin can't keep countering my spells with that counter spell. You son of a- Just super annoying, especially on a land. I mean, that seems really strong. Up next is one of my favorites with Crawling Barons coming in at 23 cents. It taps for a colorless and has the ability to pay four, put two 1-1 one -one counters on crawling barons you may have crawling barons become a zero zero elemental that's the exact reason why i love this thing you don't have to animate it you can just put the one one counters on it and keep it a land my favorite thing to do is dump any extra mana i have at the end of an opponent's turn right before you go to just stack up one one counters on this thing wait for the perfect turn when someone's open bash them for 16 i mean magic christmas land but more like magic christmas land this is a thing called a present up next is Gavany Township, coming in as low as $1.21. Gavany Township is a classic. It taps for a colorless and has the ability to pay two, a green, and a white. Tap it, put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control. Token or any creature-based decks need this thing. Every time you have the mana up at the end of someone's turn or during your turn, just buff your entire board. Definitely could end a game with this thing. Speaking of annoying stuff during opponent's turns, Alchemist Refuge comes in at $2.83. Alchemist Refuge is a land that taps for a colorless and has the ability to tap a green and a blue. Tap it. Give all your non-land spells flash until end a turn. This thing's just powerful. I don't even have a joke for this. A pseudo Vidalcanori on a land. I mean, not much else to say. Super strong. And lastly, we've got Mirror Pool coming in as low as $1.95. Mirror Pool. Ironically, what I'm calling the YouTube MTG Echo Chamber lately is a land that enters tapped and taps for a waste. You can pay two and a waste, tap and sacrifice Mirror Pool to copy target instant or sorcery spell you control and choose new targets. Or you can pay four and a waste, tap and sack it, put a token into play that's a copy of a creature you control. Now, this is a narrow one because you need a source of waste mana, like Mind Stone, Soul Ring, Thought Vessel, or a flat out waste basic land. What does it do? But there are a lot of ways to produce waste that most of us run anyway. Uh, and I think this is just a super strong card late game. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, share, do all that stuff. We have broken a thousand. I appreciate the shit out of that. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Go play some magic.